Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of the Grammarlog podcast. Today we'll be looking into some of the uses of the past simple tense and the past continuous tense. As we did in the first episode, pause the podcast to read the following two dialogues. Now let's begin with our first dialogue entitled Moving House between Nancy and Rick. Nancy says, we were moving house the following week. Here, the past continuous, as you can see, is connected with the future in the past. If we rewrite the sentence using the present continuous, we get the following. We're moving house next week. In episode one, we said that the present continuous is used to express a definite future arrangement. Similarly, the past continuous is used to express the same idea in the past. For example, he was leaving the following morning, which implies that the person leaving had made plans that might have included packing, booking a ticket and so on. When Rick says, I thought you'd moved house, we come to learn that Nancy's plan was unfulfilled due to one circumstance or another. Unfulfilled plans in the past can be expressed using be plus to have plus the past participle of the verb. Let's rewrite our example. Nancy and her family were to have moved house the other day. This structure implies that the plan didn't work out. In answer to Rick's question, Nancy says, I've been in London. The present perfect here expresses a recent past action. What is implied here is that Nancy was in London, say, two days ago or three days ago. It doesn't matter. The time is not really important. Notice that Rick uses the past simple tense when he asks about when she went there. Let's assume Nancy went to London two weeks ago and came back two days ago. Look at the diagram. The period stretching from two weeks ago up to two days ago has nothing to do with the present time. It is now over. That is why Rick uses the past simple when he, when he says, What did you go to London? This use of the past simple is the result of a question and an answer in the present perfect. Rick says, Where have you been? He uses the present perfect because he last saw Nancy two weeks ago and he has just seen her again. The green arrow shows clearly that the period he's referring to stretches from two weeks ago up to now, the moment of speaking. That's why he uses the present perfect. Of course, Nancy answers the question using the present perfect as well. Rick immediately switches to the past simple because he now knows that the period during which she was in London is over. Here, Nancy uses the past simple simply because we know when this happened. It was last month. If the time when an action happened is mentioned, use the past simple tense. You cannot, for instance, say, I've seen him yesterday. This is a very common mistake, so try to avoid it. With last, like last week, last month, and so on, use the past simple. The word last, by definition, implies a period which is over. However, with this, like this week, this month, and so on, the present perfect is usually used because this implies that the period referred to is not over. For example, I've talked to him twice this week. The week is not over yet, and I may talk to him again. In episode one, we said that the present continuous is used with always to express approval or disapproval depending on the situation and the speaker's tone. The past continuous can be used in the same way. Now, is Nancy expressing approval or disapproval? The context suggests that, the, that she disapproved of the way the estate agent handled the paperwork. He made lots of serious mistakes or blunders. She must have been very annoyed. That's why she says he was always making blunders in the process. In dialogue two, the interviewer begins his interview by asking about Mr. Smith's job before he became unemployed using the past continuous. To ask about somebody's occupation, we usually use the present simple or the past simple. Using the past continuous instead of the past simple is a more polite way to ask about somebody's occupation. Mr. Smith says, I've worked for a pharmaceutical company, QA, for five years. He uses the past simple because he's referring to a period which is now over. He no longer works for this company. Compare the sentence with I've worked for a pharmaceutical company, QA, for five years, which implies that he still works for the company. 
The interviewer then asks, when did you quit? Uh, he uses the past simple because uh, he knows that Mr. Smith no longer works for Cure, and thus the period during which he quit is now over. Now, we know that Mr. Smith resigned three months ago. We know when the action happened exactly, so the past simple must be used. As with the present simple, adverbs of frequency are used by the past simple as well, to express regular habits. Mr. Smith says, I always got into arguments with the management board. In the following line, the interviewer says, Kiwa, the other day I was discussing the challenges that the company faced with Mr. Brandon. Here, the past continuous is used to express a casual action that happened in the course of a certain event. It's not really important who started the discussion. Compare with, I discussed the matter with him, which implies that I took the initiative and that the discussion happened after I intended to bring up the matter. Where increasing expresses gradual development in the past. Another example, oil prices were rising, which means they rose a little bit day after day. In the last line, Mr. Smith says, Mr. Brandon, we're met in King's College. Such a nice bloke. Note that Mr. Smith used the past simple even though the time when an action happened is not mentioned. Why? The time is implied by the context. In King's College. Uh, we know that Mr. Smith's college days are now over. They are a thing of the past. So the period he's referring to is over now. Another example, I met him during my training days. Now I'm done with my training days and I've got a job, so my training days are a thing of the past. Sometimes the past continuous and the past simple are used together to talk about a continuous action that gets interrupted by an abrupt or a sudden action, as you can see in example one on the screen. In example two, uh, the two tenses can be used in a series of actions to describe a scene. The two tenses are used this way in dramatic narration. Finally, the past continuous can be used to reprove somebody, as in... What were you doing with my computer? Which implies that you don't have the right to touch it. That's all from us now. Stay tuned for more episodes.